what I'm about to show you guys is extremely unfortunate. Like I straight up never ever in my life <laughs> Yo, I haven't this even seen in here yet. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. The inside of my trunk. You had water up in here. Like I this know. is all just like runny water, muddiness, cesspool. Just been, like... Isn't that disgusting, dude? <laughs> yeah. So she... something that is apparently crucial to your car, you would look at it and think like, yeah, you should have them. But when you when they rip off, you just assume like, ah, no big deal. Want to grab that side of the bumper? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys this before in a drifting video or just in a Jenny video. Dude, this flap was missing. I don't know where it went, but these are like the breather flaps. When you close your door, they like open and close just to let airflow, I guess, in the cabin. It's behind my wheel <laughs> and drifting in freaking Shannonville's off-road track all weekend. <laughs> Got this thing full of mud, bro. Anyways, I knew that piece was missing and I didn't know it was super relevant So I didn't put one in but one time we were at the junkyard I ripped this off just a Genesis that was in there if I knew it was gonna do this I would have put it back. So it looks like you just kind of Yeah it oh, flaps. Beautiful. She's We're flat. good. So, you gonna tell them or what? Tell them about what? These fresh new hats you're wearing or what? You guys have been seeing me wearing this dad hat around the committee crew has not had hats just in general in so long. Yeah, in too long. Yeah, like way too long. I'm so we got them. a fresh dad hat and we got the same design but in an actual snapback hat. These are gonna be available first at the Driven uh, shows, Driven Calgary, and then we'll, we'll put them available on the website afterwards. So anybody that comes up to Driven, you guys get first dibs. If not, set a reminder for July 30th, we're gonna be throwing everything that makes it through the show on the website. So we're gonna have a couple leftover dad hats, a couple snapbacks. We got some fresh new blue shirts that you guys haven't seen yet. And then we got jet tags, stickers, banners, all the good stuff. Go to the committee crew, set a reminder for the newsletter. You guys get updates every time. That's not what today's about. Today we get to finally show them some goodies. Bro, these things look so good. They really do. I'd say big thanks to our boy John. He reached out through the comments and we got these things powder coated from them without doing any prep. We literally just brought them to him raw right after Robbie would, like fabbed them up. Color matched Robbie's wheels and everything and like it's bang on. Almost all you guys were commenting saying you wanted us to color match this to the purple inside the car, which I agree would have been sick and John actually reached out because he had a purple that matched perfectly already on hand. Purple is just a little too like, yo, look at me. It might have just been a little flashy for for what we're trying to do. I feel like I'm not at a level yet to attract attention. Like I don't want to be flashy. Let's check this out side to side. Oh, dude. baby. Dude, dude put that thing back. You were in a shadow. Oh my god. Buddy, that's like literally the same color. Nailed. Oh, it looks so good. I like it because it's like, it's pretty tame. It's not like I said, like the purple would super pop. I think it'd be way too much, but this is enough to like set it apart from the bar up here. So you know, it's obviously like something special. It's a little different. It matches the wheels. So when you roll up and see this, you're going to be like, oh yeah, someone put some effort into that thing, yeah. dude. And it the booty. Clean, man. Dude, the booty looks good too. It's such a clean drift car. And we're hoping to keep it that way. All we have left to do now is decide which bumper to cut. I posted on Instagram a little poll for you guys to choose, but by the time this video goes live, that was like way long ago. So we're going to measure up this ARK bumper and if where the, the line already is in the bumper fits, just because you kind of have to follow that line. If you cut like an inch inside, yeah. that's going to look stupid. Yeah, exactly. So if that line fits, we'll cut this one so that you can see the bash bar kind of behind it. Yeah. I'm and all the mufflers so. and everything. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it's a lot wider. I mean, it gives the booty a good like... As cool as the Genesis stuff is though, that's not even why I dragged you guys into today's video. We got some exciting stuff. Dude, I feel like we were just, just here not too long ago and we're already back. Yeah, it feels like it. We told you guys when we had the K20 Civic at the dyno that we were gonna need to order up a new turbo kit, or at least we were saying a new Sidewinder, but I ended up just going full send. We got an entire new turbo kit, so there's absolutely no fucking around. Oh, I just, love, I, we already have a turbo kit and I'm still just pumped. Yeah, you should be. We're not gonna be running your Mazda downpipe anymore, <laughs> so that's exciting. <laughs> All right, let's, let's open some of this stuff. First off, we'll start in the easy boxes. We got ourselves a classic for those, for those. GDM bro cone thing mushroom filter. Yeah. It looks like that for super power flow. 
It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. Got a couple of V-band clamps, a bolt-on bung, which we had to go source ourselves last time, and an oil drain line and all the, all the goodies. One massive oil drain line, probably. And you, my friend, may do the honors of opening the rest in whatever order you choose. Okay, I really wanna see how these downpipes are looking, so. It's a nice boy though, look at the bends on this. Snow Janky, Robbie Welding, Robbie Fab. We got our nice B-band clamps on the end. That is actually gonna be real nice. It's this a, is something it just that we've never got to really use, or at least I have. No, my, my beer is these V-band. Um, well, at least my exhaust is. And it just, it honestly just makes mating stuff super easy because like, it doesn't have to go bolt right where the bolts go. Yeah. You can put it on here and like adjust it, the angle, yeah. right? And it doesn't matter. And also it just cleans up everything because there's not big flanges and stuff. I'll just rip this guy straight open. Yo, we got legit down pipe situations. And then this is gonna come down, well, it'd be like, this actually. I think we'll have to weld it up to our current exhaust. I don't freaking know, dude. I don't, I don't know. We got a legit three inch, very nice downpipe setup. Ooh. We had to get a new uh, wastegate also because we needed a V band wastegate. This thing's fing huge. First it's of all, it's a honker. Look at the. Oh my lord. The, the wastegate's huge, but like the fitting size is huge. Yeah. And it's even got a little. V-band dump pipe. We switched everything over to V-bands because it's just better, so I had to basically buy a whole new yeah. turbo kit. Better and we're trying something new. We got the wastegate with the V-band. We got a couple small, small boy V-band clamps and then got some stuff to weld to. Got all the fittings. And uh, hopefully that does a little better than our past experience with wastegate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. More goodies. I keep forgetting we got more goodies. We got more goodies. There's even more than just what you think is in this box. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking spray foam is into the box. Oh damn! Like literally, just watched us build half the turbo kit that's on the K20 right now, and when we realized we had to do it again, I just literally was just like, Fuck no! Like I'm not buying another Speed Three downpipe to cut up and hack up. So, dude, we got the good. I'm curious what this is actually. Can we start here? A piece gasket. of wood. Oh, it's gasket. Yeah, yeah. Good job using your brain today. Are we ready? Yeah, buddy, give her. Get, get into it. Get into it. Get into it. You're saying our wastegate is gonna be sitting up here. Yeah, yeah, so literally this will sit on the back of the block. Turbo will come sit right up in your face. Wastegate sits right here and then dumps straight down beside the exhaust. So like it actually has a proper flowy, dumpy, yeah. accessible, like you wanna change the spring in the middle of the dyno, you can reach it. That's set up. sick. This is the elephant snout. It is the elephant snout for sure. <laughs> I literally just said, oh, it comes with a thing over here to weld it. Uh, Downpipe too, yeah. But that we bought it. This will replace our cool little teardrop boy. Hell yeah, bro! See how nice that is. Here, I'm gonna I'm give you the V band experience. Look at that. Seat that thing on there. It seats. See? It's seated, and now you can spin it any direction you want, and then you clamp the V band clamp down, and that's where it stays. That's sick. So much better than having to have like a perfectly angled flange oh, yeah. or anything, right? Yeah, it just works. Worry about anything. Right now, our wastegate dump just goes straight to the floor, and that's exactly what this is gonna do. So literally, it's gonna go straight down to the floor. It's gonna keep it super subtle, where like the car is super quiet, super sleeper, real nice. And then I'm thinking we might be able to cut that uh, right like somewhere here and angle it a little more if we decide to put it into the exhaust, yeah. and we can route it right into the exhaust. But yeah, dude, check this out. So we got a fresh new turbo kit. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's almost a turbo kit. We didn't get an intercooler or any of the piping. Um, we could have really hit or miss how much that's really gonna help us. Obviously, it would help us a bit. Kind of like the stealthy look we got going on with our intercooler right now, and what, me and Chris made the call. We're keeping that. This is sick. So this. This alone will get us to the power range that we couldn't get at when we were at the dyno last. Yeah. But, but <laughs> since we were splurging. <laughs> that thing fucking dude. <laughs> Damn. I'm so pumped, like as if you got this from my Skyline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wish. So this big boy is the GT35R is what it's actually called. Yeah. So this is the one that Boosted Boys, I, I, Nick tells me that they made it famous. I don't know how, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Oil and coolant fed, which is good and in most things should be, the one we have right now is not. This thing is supposed to make so much power, it's a .82 AR. Come on, look how big this boy is. It does look sick. It's a big boy. Well, that's a big hole for my little mouth. I just don't know. You think I can make that. it spool? 
Oh, a little bit, ready? <laughs> We're finally gonna get rid of this intercooler pipe too that everybody absolutely just hates. This girl's just sitting here like, yo, why am I stuck at 260? I could make you 500, just let me, let me let you. The way Nick was explaining it, the way that K-series engines are able to make so much power is because they have really good flow. So we're not even in VTEC this thing. This thing basically, the VTEC's like tuned right out of it because we can barely even make power on this manifold because the manifold is choking the engine. The exhaust isn't leaving fast enough. It's literally leaving, hitting this sh ass log manifold and just jamming and the, it, it's overheating itself it's choking it's not good this boy bolts up right here okay so this is gonna replace that log manifold super high flowy right this is a proper manifold is gonna dump the turbo like right here if you guys have ever seen a k-swap or anything with a sidewinder you just know like how sick it is to look in and the turbo is just like mm. it's just looking you right in the face just, yeah mm. and as far as turbo oh are you just gonna yank that off so they can see yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys are as pumped as I am, dude. This is gonna be so fire. Check this out, ready? Oh my, daddy turbo, son turbo. That is actually nuts. This goes over top of that. <laughs> it goes, yeah. goes it's eaten here. So, There's no way this turbo would even fit back here. No, yeah, 100% it would not. It would literally just be like into the valve cover. just. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then like I said, the hot side V-band. The V-band is just really cool because it's gonna clean everything up. Like, see how chunky and big that side is on the turbo here then that side just has like a small little circle and that's it so we're gonna have to run coolant lines which is good because we don't have coolant lines it didn't come with it. it came with the oil feed not a coolant feed so we're gonna have to tap into some coolant lines here to cool that turbo and aside from that i think we have most things we'll have to like give it a thorough check over but and this thing's dual ball bearing which is 10 times nicer like it'll actually like spool yeah. and like spool quickly and not lose boost. Whereas this thing, or it gets hung up more and it's just, it's a journal bearing, dude. Think about people that journal, they're boring. Today we aren't gonna install anything. We wanted to unbox it because you guys know we have a terrible track record of not getting all the parts or like thinking it says it comes with it, we open it, it doesn't come with it. Good example, we don't have coolant lines for the turbo. So I'm sure we'll have to go around and like nitpick all this stuff and make sure that we have literally everything. And if we weren't already on the biggest winning streak today, dude, as we were sitting in there, we got a message that Pure Later has dropped off the goods. Damn. This is all the merch that everybody that's at the show is gonna get first dibs on, um, and afterwards is gonna be for sale on the July 30th, like I was talking about at the beginning of the video. But for anybody that hasn't seen this, because I think I only posted this on Instagram, this is how all the merch has been coming for the last couple months. So it comes in this little biodegradable bag, it's got a little sizing. It says, all of them say men's sizing, but all our stuff is like unisex, unisex pretty much. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really think it favors men or women. It's got the little tag for what size it is, the whole bag is compostable, it's got a little committee crew logo on it, and this drop just so happens to have the matching shirt logo on the shirt. Fresh Navy, it's got the Circle Committee Crew logo on it and it's got the big boy on the back. Whoa! I almost didn't even know that was coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these boys, I should have done some sick edit where I went and I was wearing the shirt, but these things, we got, of course, Oh, it's on this arm. Summer 2021 tag. Like I said, we got the hats, we got jet tags, banners, stickers, so much good stuff. So make sure that you guys set a reminder for that July 30th date if you have not already. Anyways, that's pretty much all we have for you guys today. I'm not gonna keep you guys around blabbing. We can't even go drive the K20 because we're still waiting on some axles to show up because we completely destroyed our axles when we did the launch control. If you guys haven't seen, it was funny, go watch it. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed.